Welcome to the Warren's tutorial series. This video provides guidance on how to use the assessment links option. This video will cover the following topics. The purpose behind the assessment links option, how to create and share links, and how the assessment links function. Creating and managing links provides Warren's users with a streamlined method for assessing groups of students. By creating links, students can complete the online assessment without having to respond to the administrative questions typically handled by the assessment administrator. This option frees the administrator from having to walk students through how to select the school and version of the assessment. It also relieves the administrator from the need to immediately complete the final administrative pages after each student has completed the assessment. Please note that we still highly encourage administrators to engage with students in conversations about their results when appropriate. The intent of the link options is to primarily give administrators more efficient way for assessing multiple students at the same time. To create a link, simply click on the assessment links icon on your dashboard. If you or other staff members have already created links, they will appear here. To create a new link, simply click on the Create New Link button. The system asks you to enter a unique and meaningful name for your link. We recommend that this name reflects the school and the assessment version you are offering. So for example, I would like to administer the needs only version of the assessment to a group of my Crimson High School students. I should call this name CHS for Crimson High School slash needs. I will select the needs version of the assessment from the drop down menu and Crimson High School under the school option menu. I can also have an option to make this link permanent by clicking the permanent checkbox. Otherwise, this link will expire after about eight hours. Click add link. If I want to distribute this Crimson High School Needs link to my students, I can simply click on the Copy Link button, and this link will be copied onto my computer's clipboard. And now I can paste this into an email or post it on a school website. If I'd like to view and edit the link, I'd simply click on the View and Edit option. And in this example, my link should look something like this. This link can now be used to assess multiple students at Crimson High School using the needs only version of the warrants. If you need to administer different versions for different students at different schools, you will need to create another link appropriate for those districts, schools, and versions. When the student clicks on the link, they will be taken to the assessment. They will be asked to enter their unique ID number, for example, their student ID, and then they will be administered the warns questions for the version assigned to that particular link. Students using this link will always now be associated with the school for which the link was defined. Please note now that the Spanish option is available to all students. After the student has completed the assessment, they will receive an option to review the responses or to submit the assessment. Once the student has decided to submit the assessment, they can simply close out of their web browser. After students have completed the assessment and the administrator logs back into the system, they will see an orange button that has a message saying they need to confirm assessments. Simply click on the Confirm Assessments button, and you're, you're taken to a page that lists only the assessments needing to be confirmed. To confirm an assessment and view the awards report, click on the Confirm button for the assessment. You're then taken to a page to confirm the demographic information for the student, and you can make any changes and then click Confirm. 
The next page contains several administrative questions the counselor is normally asked before assessing a student. These questions include whether or not the student has special education, if they have a 504 plan, if they have recently transferred, and we've now included a new drop-down question for how seriously you think the student took the assessment. You can add notes as usual, and we've added a new question down here for you to select the reason for the assessment. Once the information is filled out, simply click Confirm. At this point, you can continue back to your dashboard or click on the button to view the WARNS assessment. Finally, on the Student Data View Data option, you will now see this confirmed assessment listed with a button to view the report and a summary of the student's score. This completes the tutorial for managing assessment links. Thanks for watching.